you guys my name is nicole welcome back to my channel today i am doing a quick booth reset i have two antique booths and today i'm at the store my treasure house in edwardsville illinois my booth is called green onion vintage and right now i'm giving you a before look before i kind of get to work on rearranging stuff i haven't been in here for a while um, I've just been really busy with a new baby, so it, it's hard for me to get up here, but I do have some new smalls that I need to put in, um, mostly, uh, I would say a mixture of antiques and then some items that I've had on hand for a while that I finally decided to part with, and I think maybe one sign that I've DIY'd recently that I haven't even shared with you yet, but I am going to show you in this video. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to let you watch the process of creating each of these little vignettes as I go around. Uh, kind of clearing off furniture and basically moving most of the same smalls just in different spots and it just gives shoppers especially the ones who come in very often something new to look at and chances are they're going to see something that has even been in the booth for a long time but they just didn't notice it in the position that it was in and you move something around and people will see things in a whole new way so i do think if you have an antique booth it's really important to kind of rework things um, on a fairly regular basis. I would say our booth gets touched at least once a week by my mom or I, um, since I do this booth with my mom. Um, it's pretty typical that at least we are in the booth at least once a week, probably more than that. And then anytime we sell a big piece of furniture, we're in there reworking stuff too. So I'm gonna let you guys listen to some music as I kind of go through um, each piece of furniture, rework the things on the top. I've had some sales, so there's some smalls that were arranged a little nicer, um, and they just kind of look a little disheveled now. And uh, sometimes just with shoppers coming through, things get picked up and sat down in different places. So I'm just going through, kind of fixing everything up, giving everything a fresh look and a little bit more intentional decor. And I hope you enjoy watching this. So sit back, relax, enjoy. Um, just kind of watching the process with the, some music. And at the end, I'll walk you through everything that I do. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no Okay, that is going to be everything for today's rework. This was just a quick little touch up of the booth. It's been quite a while, like I said, that I've been in here. So I feel happy with everything I was able to accomplish, even though I'm sure more time passed than I intended. That's kind of how time goes when I'm working in here. It just flies by. Um, but there was a pitcher I had sold here. And now those spoons, which were in the pitcher, they have a new home for now. And... Um, a lot of the crafts that I had done with you guys in a DIY video, those have been steadily selling finally. It kind of took them a while. And that is great news for me because I was getting a little discouraged about my sales lately. So 
So here is how that display ended up going. I do try to do some color stories. So here I have the yellows kind of all together. I know I go too fast for some people, so I'm trying to go nice and slow. This mirror, you tell me in the comments below what you think. I've had it in here forever. Um, it's at 65, and I really think I'm going to pull it out soon and make it a chalkboard because it has been in here as a mirror for way too long. I can't even believe how long it's been here. This is such a cool shelf. You cannot see those details at all. Let me see if I can brighten this a bit. Oh, you're just really hardly getting... Oh, that helps, actually. Yeah, that's just such a cool little shelf there. This is my mom's piece, and she's asking 48 for that. I think that is such a neat look. This window, it has shelves inside. I'm really discouraged that that's still here because I thought that would be a good seller for the summertime. So I'm going to consider that for the next time we clean stuff out. Still have this white wash stand. Just marked it down to 120. It's not really white. It's more like a an off-white cream color. We have a wicker chair here. I've draped that quilt over the, the edge of it. I have another quilt right there. And then I put my patchwork quilt that I recently got over on the other side. I'll show you that in a minute. So really just trying to layer, use a lot of different textures, a bunch of different colors right now. I'm sure we will mute our colors when fall comes around. Take out a lot of these bright colors and go more into our darker greens. I really love like a dark orange with lots of neutrals for, for fall and every shade of green. Dark wood is beautiful for fall time, so I'm definitely kind of thinking that direction because that'll be here before we know it. I'm filming this in July, so I'm sure other stores are already putting their fall stuff out. I haven't even looked yet. I am not quite ready. I have this bowl here for 18. I sold the smaller one a long time ago. Look at this masher, the awesome green handle. Uh, only asking five dollars for that. That's so cool. I had two of the risers like this. The other one sold. All of my DIY risers that I made in a video a few uh, a few months back now, um, they have sold now. So that's exciting for me. That door is from the Pickers Market I shared with you a few weeks ago. I'm asking sixty for that. The other door that I bought at the Pickers Market. Um, you'll have to go back and watch that video. I'll put it down below. Uh, that one sold right away, like in the same week. And then I recently redid this chest of drawers here on my channel. It's been in here about two weeks now. I'm asking $240. So if I don't get that price, I'll have to reconsider. But I do think it's worth that price. You guys saw how much work I put into it. And it has this little unexpected touch of details right there with all the butterfly stamps. I really love this piece. I have a blank spot in the wall there. I'm going to have to find something before I leave because that's going to bother me in this video. Let's kind of rearrange some of the small. Sometimes all you need to do is just put them in a new spot for someone to see them in a different way and for them to sell. We still have one cutting board. I'm not sure if we have both still. We might have sold one. still have these cans which I think are so cool. I'm asking 14. And then I just brought these plates in and some uh, duck egg blue plates that are the same style. I have a collection of at home of white ones that I got um, right before I was going to get married. Um, so I'm keeping all of the white ones. I just don't have a lot of duck egg blue in my house anymore. I think I kept some of my favorite ones but I was ready to part with some of them too, just because I have so much down in my storage right now. I'm just trying to pare down. I kind of like just how full and busy that looks. I don't know. I don't typically just leave so much on the shelves like that, but I'm, I'm liking that for now. I just marked this dresser down. This has been probably in here, I don't even know at this point, maybe a year, which is way too long. I just marked it down to 110. I've repainted it. I don't know what else to do. I just think it's so cute. I think it's perfectly ready to go and it just sits here. So I'd rather mark it down and get my money back and get the space back because it's just been in here too long. 
So this is a painted butter churn. I love how that looks, especially with the eucalyptus. It's such a pretty combo. And then I still have this chest of drawers. I just marked that down to $1.99. Also nothing wrong with that. That looks like it says cat. It says eat. <laughs> that window says eat. I'm asking 38 for that. And I have homemade sign for 40. My mom painted that. That looks like the evergreen, but it could be kudzu from Dixie Bell. Um, I have this really cool old high chair that I'm asking 59 for. I love the patina on that. And this little end table you guys saw me redo recently has some of my DIYs on it. I think I'm asking 80 for that. I might need to go down a little bit more. And then in this back corner, I just brought that lamp in for 30. I really love it. If I had two of them, I would have kept them in my bedroom because they give off a really nice warm light, but I'm gonna keep searching for what I can use in my bedroom. I have a little kid's desk there for 110. And then I just brought this patchwork quilt in, which I swore I was gonna keep, but I ended up just finding it too busy. Uh, but I am asking 70 for it. It's in such great shape. And these are the duck egg blue plates I brought in. I think they're so pretty. I love all like the vintage detail around the edges. So I definitely feel like it's looking better than when I got here. We really just need some more antiques. We're a little low right now. I have not been able to shop like normal, as you guys know and definitely understand. So it is what it is. I think it looks good in here still. Um, you know, you kind of got to ebb and flow with life. And right now, this can't take up quite as much of my attention, but I'll get back around to it eventually. And for now, I think it looks really good. All right, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know if you're also an antique dealer or if you're just someone here who likes to see what I'm working on. I like to hear from all you guys, and I appreciate you watching this video so much. Let's see if I can find me in the mirror here. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.